Hello there, my name is Jalai Renzel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we are down here in Wellington and we're actually gonna go see a really awesome exhibit. It is the Marvel Earth Mightiest Heroes exhibit. So I'm really excited. I've heard really good things about it. I've heard that there are some costumes, some props from films and some of the shows. I've also heard that there's quite a few like comic items and there's also a gift shop, which I've just seen. It's at the end of the exhibit, but I can clearly see it. That looks really cool. Um, and of course, I gotta be in my Spider-Man outfit. It's it's Marvel and Spider-Man's my favorite, so I'm hoping there's some really cool Spider-Man stuff inside. But let's just get stuck into it. As soon as you enter, you get a whole lot of comic strips. Look at that one. Here we have an actual first edition comic. This is the first one that Marvel Comics ever made. It's the Human Torch, but it is not the Human Torch from Fantastic Four. But look at that. So it was made in 1939. It's really cool. So yeah, it's only graded a three because as you can see, even though it is one of the first ones ever made, it's quite damaged, but it looks absolutely Stunning. Part I love about this one is you've got a lenticula of Sue Storm just casually disappearing in and out. And even some panels of what the family originally looked like in some of the original comics. Which is pretty cool. As well as the original comic strips. Or Fantastic Four. Over here, they have an animation cell for the animated series, which was uh, shown in the 90s, which is really cool. Look at the detail on that. It's really cool. But yeah, apparently Fantastic Four was really important in the birth of modern Marvel, which is really cool. So that's really fun to learn more about Fantastic Four because they were one of my favorites. Um, when I was a kid growing up, I watched a lot of the um, Fantastic Four films. These comic strips are really cool, but the thing that I love the absolute most is actual costumes from the movie. So here we have Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther costume from the first Black Panther film. Sorry, you might see my reflection in here. Can you see those details? You can see every little detail. And a little bit of my reflection, unfortunately. That is absolutely insane. You can see the glove work. Every little detail. This is uh, my dream as a cosplayer to see these costumes up close. Look at the beading on this dress. Movies don't do justice on the detailing. Like, they don't focus this close onto it. All those man hours would be insane. Look at the beads. Oh, so gorgeous. All of those beads would have been put on by hand, which is absolutely insane. And then you've got the gold work. Stunning. And of course, Black Panther Gold Edition, which we see Shuri wearing in the second movie. Look at that. even see the gold detailing on the wrists and even the claws oh man it's so incredible they even have replica kimoyo beads look at that look at the details that's so cool i love this this is so fun and we have one more 
more costume from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. It's Atuma, one of the underwater warriors. You can see, look at the detail on all the bones, the teeth. We've got a spear next to his costume. I haven't even gotten to the head piece yet. Look at that, a full on skull, hammerhead skull. It's insane. Over here, look at that. That looks like obsidian pieces, it's insane. It's really funny to see all these details up close. Definitely a highlight for me to see the costumes. Another prop that they have here is Captain America's shield from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Look at the details. Oh, it's so pretty. It's really cool. It's really fun that they've got some of those iconic pieces like his shield. And over here, if I bring you guys over here, you can see Sam Wilson's Captain America from Falcon and Winter Soldier as well. That dramatic reveal of him wearing the new suit. Absolutely incredible. Look at the gloves. Oh, those gloves are gorgeous. cycles through all the different people who have been Captain America at some stage which is really cool because there was a whole bunch I didn't know and they even have their names on the screen as well which is really fun and I love seeing the different styles of comics as well and their own take on the Captain America costume So they're really kind of going through the years, the decades, showing when each kind of group was created. But look at these pieces of original art. It's really cool. We've got little comic strips here. It's really fun. You can even see some of the notes that they were writing on these. Getting to see that because you don't see that on the on the original comics. It's wild. Learning a lot about co uh, comic history today, which is really fun. Going way back into X Men history, this is Wolverine's Fours from X Men United in 2003. It's pretty old school. This one's actually really interesting. It was made from after production from remaining components, but this is a Deadpool mask. So it wasn't used in the film, but it was made from leftover pieces of the original one, I would assume. It's really cool. You can see the detailing on the material is absolutely insane. I absolutely love seeing these pieces up close. It's awesome. Fun. You've got a whole list of characters that you can pick as your favorite. Of course, me being Spider-Man, I'm going to press Spider-Man. And you can see here, Spider-Man's the vote. And it shows you who is the top five. So you've got Storm, Spider-Man, Groot, She-Hulk, and Iron Man. And it goes down further, showing Miles, Spider-Gwen, Black Panther, and Black Widow. I'm not sure if it goes down any further, does it? Can we get top ten? We go Ms. Marvel, Rocket, Captain Marvel, Hulk, and Wolverine. So that's pretty fun. It shows you so many comics around here as well. It's really cool. Oh, and then there's more here too. Here we go. Captain America, the 
Daredevil, Thor, Doctor Strange, and Luke Cage with Falcon. But that is really fun getting to see. Like, we even got some more modern pieces in here and some old school ones with the comics down at the bottom. I have hit the gold mine of costumes. We have Moon Knight. And he is actually one I want to cosplay as so badly. So getting to see these details up close, oh my goodness, this is a treat for me. Look at the detailing. It's insane. Like, oh my goodness, look at that. I am casually losing my mind over here, but trying to look normal in front of everybody. Look at the details, like, I'm, it's, it's insane. And you can see that that piece on his face is actually CG because it's not physically there, but that is so cool. I want to make this costume so badly. It's beautiful. So, oh, I love it. This was one of my favorite shows that they did recently, so. I'm gonna spend about 10 minutes just looking at this one costume. Absolutely gorgeous. Best part of the exhibit. And to top off my favorite four characters, they even have Doctor Strange from Multiverse of Madness. Can we all see the detail on this? It is insane. And the mirrors behind it even show the back of the costume too. Which is crazy because this cloak has got so much detail. I'm definitely going to be taking a ton of photos because he is also one of my favorites and I absolutely love it. Look, the eye of Akamoto, all of it, absolutely stunning. I'm like shaking with excitement, sorry the footage is like shaky, but it's so cool. I love it so much. Okay, this exhibit got like a thousand times better. This is the original Loki costume from Avengers 2012. I absolutely love this piece. Look at the horns. Oh, it's I am absolutely in love with this costume. This is one I've like contemplated putting on my cosplay list because it's beautiful, but oh my gosh, seeing the detail up close, I'm gonna, I, I wanna spin hours just looking at these. It's stunning. It's holding the tesseract as well, which is fabulous. Look at the detail on the cloak. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh man. It's insane. To be this close to it is so cool. And next to them, Mighty Thor from Love and Thunder. I absolutely love this. I love Natalie Portman and I love this costume as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Can you see how it's made? Oh, it's gorgeous. And even the helmet too. Insane detail right here. Oh, I'm in love with this thing. And here we've got Mjolnir from Love and Thunder. So this version is actually Mighty Thor's version. So this is the hammer Jane gets when she um, goes near it, it fixes it up and turns into this beautiful thing, which I love the detail on it. Look at the handles. Even the end of the handle is insane. Do y'all think I'm worthy enough for it? I don't think so, but maybe. I'll try again. No, I think it's a gloss. Oh well. Still very pretty. One of the reasons why I like coming to these is that they have information that you wouldn't normally find. Um, it's all there, but I love learning about things like Steve Ditko actually made Peter Parker look a whole lot like him when he was younger, which is really cool. 
and I'm just learning about the artists and their styles and finding out how many characters Steve Ditko actually created, which was a lot of the villains from Spider-Man Universe, which is absolutely insane. Uh, I love learning about these artists and more about the characters I love. I think this is my favorite part. It's my favorite Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire. It's his press ID from the third Spider-Man. Then we've got Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. That's actually his camera used in the first Amazing Spider-Man 2012. And my favorite ones is the Green Goblin bomb. And his mask. Look at the details. It's stunning. He's one of my favorite villains from the Spider-Man universe. See, those were from the first Spider-Man, which is absolutely epic. Look at the detail. Oh, I love it. So cool, and it's still got its menacing look to it, as it does in the first one. Look at that. It's scary. I think this is one of the coolest parts of this exhibition. There is a full Spider-Man suit. Look at the detail on that. This is Tom Holland's suit from No Way Home, which was in 2021. Look at the detailing. My goodness, this is incredible. You can even see all the little lines and the dots on each piece of the suit. Go down to the arms. Even more detailing, it's absolutely insane. definitely top three look at that and you even get to watch you can watch the intro of the spider-man animated series it looks so cool and look even there you got an animation so spidey's in space that's fun i love this room it's so cool i think this one and the room with moon knight and doctor strange is my favorite You gotta love me, the Tobey Maguire film, and the Andrew Garfield props, like, that's epic. This is a really cool part in the Spider-Man section. So we all know that there's more than just Peter Parker, but if you don't know them, you can click on these ones here, and it gives you a little brief description on what each one is, and how they became a Spider-Man, which is really cool. So there's quite a few I'm not too familiar with, so. I've just been having a look and seeing each of their names and where they're from and how they came to be a Spider-Man, which was really cool. So, definitely quite a fun thing. So I'll just bring you closer so you can see each one. Maybe you guys recognize some that I don't. So it's really cool. So all the spiders from the Spider-Verse, of course, not all of them, just to name a few, but definitely really fun to check out. And we have some awesome props from the Guardians of the Galaxy, which is pretty cool. This is Gamora's sword on the first film. You can see the details on the blade. Very cool. And as we go down, we get to Star-Lord and his helmet from the first one. probably would have been a puppet they would use in the film or a body double I'm not too sure very detailed though I mean look at that it's such a tiny costume yet it has to have insane detail as well like no costuming stone gets 
gets left unturned, no detail gets missed. Everything has to be filled with so much detail, which is crazy. It's got such a cute face. And you got baby Groot here. Also filled with incredible amounts of detail as well. So fun to see actual characters as well as costumes. This multiverse area is really pretty off the screen. And of course it leads into the Kang costume which I'll show you guys up close. But it's just pretty to look at the multiverse patterns and colours. I do have to say the Quantumania Kang costume is probably one of the most insanely detailed ones in this exhibit. If you can see, I'm going to try and explain to you why. If you look here, there is glittery fabric underneath. All this green is placed on top in a very complicated pattern. I've got all of this armor, which is incredibly purple and shiny, my light add. And then to top it all off, you've got some sleeve details there as well. And if I go around to the side, you can barely see it, but this is fabric with that pattern again. You can see the pattern. The fabric is actually a two-tone. You've got one part reflecting purple and the other part reflecting green, which means depending on how you look at it in the light, you will see purple or green, which is absolutely insane. I really gotta give props to the Marvel Studios costume designs for all the movies. Because some of these are insanely detailed. And see on this side you can see once again purple and green depending on which way you look at it in the light and you can see the pattern starts off small and then halfway like towards the middle of it it becomes really big like yeah. insane absolutely insane but really cool and this little panel of superheroes does mark the end of the exhibit before we go into the gift shop so they really ended with some really fun costumes I don't want to go, but it is heading towards the end of our time. Lovely Spider-Man yeah. ended there. In the gift shop, they have some really cool t-shirts, which is the exhibit exclusive ones, which is really cool. Some fun designs. I like them. And they even have some pins. That's uh, Marvel's Earth Mightiest Exhibition. Magnets. Keychains and mugs. Lots and lots of mugs. Okay, so that is the end of the exhibition. It was wild. Like, I didn't expect that many costumes. We had like Spider Man, Loki, Moon Knight, Doctor Strange, we had uh, Kate Bishops, um, we had Iron Man, we had Mighty Thor, we had Marvels. We had like Kang, we had there were so many, so many, it was insane. Um, there were so many awesome props. We had like Black Panther props, we had um, OG Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider Man props. Um, we even had Guardians of the Galaxy, which was absolutely insane. And they had so many comic strips from like all the, all the characters they were going through. There was like Daredevil, there was um, <laughs> Black Panther, there was like so many i can't even like there, there was uh, like original ones from like some of the classic comics and some of the more modern ones as well so they had some from like miles morales and ms marvel a whole bunch like that was absolutely insane um and so much information as well i i took a photo of some of the screens so i could actually go back and read them properly and, and read them again and really get that information to my mind but absolutely amazing the tickets was the price was worth it it was it was so worth it getting to see that many costumes like i'm a cosplayer and so many of those costumes are on my list um loki moon knight spider-man doctor strange i took so many photos of every little detail that i had not thought of there was like pieces on doctor strange's cape that was like I can't get a photo of that if unless i see it right there so it was absolutely insane and incredible and I'm so happy to be able to see that. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10. We don't get exhibits like this in New Zealand much. I mean, there was like a Star Wars one in 2009 that only made it to Sydney. It didn't make it to New Zealand and I was lucky enough to go over and do that. But like, 
costume exhibits like this do not come to New Zealand as often, so getting the chance to come to Wellington and see it, 10 out of 10 experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. It's, it's awesome. Hopefully it shows up in other parts of the world so other people will be able to see it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it just as much as me, give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe down below if you want to become part of the Renzel fam. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. And as always, head force with you. Bye guys. Thank you.